Voters in four states are heading to the polls today for congressional primaries. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Vermont, and Connecticut will decide which candidates will move on to November's general election. In Minnesota's 5th District, Progressive Congresswoman and squad member Ilhan Omar is facing a challenge from former Minneapolis City Councilor Don Samuels. He ran against her in 2022, a race Omar won by a small margin. CBS News political reporter Hunter Woodall is tracking these races for us from our Washington bureau. So, Hunter, other members of the so-called squad, Representatives Cori Bush and Jabal Bowman, they lost their primaries this summer. They also each faced really well-funded challengers. Are the dynamics different here? Good afternoon, Lindsay. This is a contest that, you know, while having some you know, stark resemblance to the contest you mentioned with Representative Bush uh, in Missouri losing, Representative Bowman in New York losing, is also distinctly different. Uh, from the tracking that we've seen uh, via data from Ad Impact, so far there's not been a great deal of outside spending in this race. The outside spending really came to define uh, the effort to defeat Bowman in New York and to defeat Bush in Missouri. So far, Representative Omar's campaign has been the biggest spender in her district, according to Ad Impact, in terms of those advertising, you know, dollars. And that's a big factor here because, uh, you know, Don Samuels, who, like you mentioned, uh, narrowly lost to Representative Omar in 2022 by a little bit under 2,500 votes, doesn't have that kind of momentum that we've seen from other challenges to squad members this cycle. And come, you know, come time of the polls closing, that could be significant. You are also tracking um, some other uh, primaries, one in Wisconsin, a Senate primary. Why is that critical? Wisconsin is a presidential battleground state. It is a critical state to both the Trump campaign and the Harris campaign, and it's home to 10 electoral votes. In Wisconsin, there's also a U.S. Senate seat held by Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin. Republicans uh, ha are rallying around um, candidate Eric Hovde in this GOP primary today, hoping that he becomes a Senate nominee. He has to overcome some lesser-known challengers first. But this is significant because Democrats have a very, very narrow majority in the U.S. Senate. If Tammy Baldwin loses the Senate seat in the fall, essentially Democrats have a very, very difficult path to retain that majority. And especially, too, for both the Trump campaign and the Harris campaign, that Senate race could loom large and who ends up winning the presidential race in the state. Let's go back to Minnesota. Former NBA player and Republican Royce White is seeking Minnesota's Senate nomination to take on A.B. Klobuchar. He's denied the results of the 2020 election. Um, he's largely considered an underdog in this race, right? The race by Royce White here is one of the more notable things that's been happening. It's kind of flown under the radar. Uh, you know, Royce White is somebody who lost a congressional primary in 2022, and he came back. He's running for this U.S. Senate seat in Minnesota, and he actually got the Minnesota GOP's endorsement at their state convention uh, weeks and weeks ago. But that's been concerning for some uh, people, given that uh, Royce White has a just litany of controversies. There's issues about his campaign finance, past campaign finance spending that's been called into question. And his main challenger in this primary, Joe Frazier, has actually talked about concern that, you know, Royce White being the nominee for the Republicans in the Senate race could actually hurt Donald Trump in the state as Trump tries to win Minnesota for the first time as a presidential candidate. No Republican has won it uh, in a presidential race since 1972. Okay. Hunter Woodall, thank you.